come on now. I mean, when did Jesus say slavery was good and all this stuff? Kendall, is Jesus God in your view? Well, if, if Christianity is true, then yes. Okay. So <laughs> have you read Exodus 21 where God gives instructions to Moses about slaves? Is that, is that New Testament? No. No. Why does okay, it matter? Well, what why are we talking about? We're talking about Jesus and the moral, his moral character. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You don't get a New Testament without an old one. You don't get a Jesus without right. the Ten Commandments. Are you throwing out the Ten Commandments? Are you throwing out Genesis? Are you throwing out Exodus? No, no, no. Okay, then no, stop no, no, asking no, no, no. me whether it's in the New Testament. Have you read Exodus 21? Yes, I have. But and and doesn't Exodus twenty one isn't is, is Kendall, laws and, in Exodus twenty one doesn't God sanction slavery? What do you mean by sanction? Are you, are you Does God suggest that it is okay for human beings to own other human beings as property, pass them onto their children, and beat them as long as they don't die within a couple of days? Does is that what's in Exodus twenty one? I want to be clear. I want to understand what you mean by sanction. Are we talking about because there's a difference between allowing? Yeah. Why are you dan why are you dancing around it? So okay, in Exodus okay. 21, does God allow slavery? Uh, he allows certain uh, a certain form of slavery that no. isn't like what we understand. To be Actually, Kendall, in Exodus 21, God allows two different types of slavery yeah. because there's different rules okay, for Jewish. I for Jewish slaves than there are for non-Jewish slaves. Jewish slaves have a completely different set of rules at the beginning of Exodus 21 than non-Jewish slaves. Jewish slaves can only be sell, held for seven years unless you trick them into becoming slaves forever. Non-Jewish slaves are your property to be passed on to your children. And does Exodus 21 say you can beat slaves as long as they don't die within a day or two? Yes, it does. Do you think that's moral? We have to define what we mean by slavery. Do you if think you, that beating people is moral? It is not moral. I agree. Congratulations. You're not better than we, your God. You're better than your Bible. And no, I wish you'd have no. been honest enough. I wish you'd have been honest said. enough to actually acknowledge that from the beginning. That's because it's embarrassing to have people like you call in to do, oh, well, Christianity and God's good. And then when I bring up something, you're like, is that the New Testament? It doesn't make any fucking difference if it's a New Testament, if you believe that God is responsible for the Old Testament as well. And in the Old Testament, he sanctions beating people as long as they don't die within a day or so, which you would say is immoral, which I would say is immoral, but your God is okay with.